Right, just hold on, boys. Hold on, boys. Ah, that's it. I'm done. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to number three of Stingerman, our journeyman series. We're currently in the lower, lower divisions of Turkey. We're loving it. It's been an interesting ride. We'll get to that soon. But first, let's have a little look at the set piece technique we've had to use to help get us out of the mire. So set players. Now I've done quite a few videos on set players and a lot of the episodes in the Darlington save were based around set players because when you're a smaller team in a lower league, set players can really, really make the difference. So getting to work in this club in the Turkish leagues, I instantly thought, right, we've not got any quality. We've had a look at the squad. We all know I'm going to struggle with that. Let's make the difference with set players. So I had great success with Darlington with my Stinger set piece routine one. So instantly, when we started, I went up to my set players, corners, loaded my routine, and I loaded Singer step piece version one. And here it is. All well and good, yeah. But when I started putting players in the positions, into the main key positions in and around here, I noticed I had a bit of a problem. The certain key attributes that I always harp on about that are vital for certain corner routines. Let me take you back to a set piece video here. There are three key attributes I look for when I'm aiming for a corner. There's some extra ones as well, but the three main ones remain the same. Jumping reach, heading and bravery. So those attributes are what we look for. Now, after scanning my squad and looking at them, my best guy for the role was this fella, Cesar Gundos, but unfortunately, he's only really got one of those key attributes that I'm gonna need, and that's jumping reach. The rest, they're just not there. So at this point, it was time for me to brush myself down, think of a new set piece style. That's exactly what we've done. Up we go to my routines. We're gonna load up Stingerman set piece, which is the one we've been working with for the last 20 or so games. Now immediately you can see there's a difference. We're not throwing it into the box. We're not just chucking it in there because I'm not sure he's gonna be the man to get to the ball. So what we're going with, because we don't have a team that's good enough in the air to capitalize on these set players, we're doing some shorter techniques. So we've adapted and we're gonna do some short corner techniques. Not only short corner techniques, but short free kick techniques as well. Idea being that we're not just gonna loop it into the box because we're not gonna be able to capitalize on that. We're gonna come up with some more cool, intricate ways to try and make breakthroughs from those all important set pieces. Now, because I'm going short on corners and free kicks, I want to keep one of my routines into the box just to mix it up so the computer doesn't suss onto it. So from the right hand side, we're gonna carry on getting into the box. Free kick wise, you can see the difference we've done here. So this is a, a short free kick technique. We've got indirect wide, we're gonna have the taker there. Then we're gonna have three lads in and around him. So we're gonna try and work the ball into the box from there rather than jumping it into the box. Similar story on deep free kicks. We're crowding the ball around the taker to give him more options from the get go. Right hand side, similar. Now there's nothing to say this is gonna be a foolproof plan. The download will be in the description there if you wanna give it a go yourself make some tweaks for yourself, but it's a different way to approach things because what's the point throwing it into the box when we're just not gonna win the ball? We're just gonna give it away. So let's try and make something from our set players. So there's my taker there, Toykan. The short man there is Barbaros. Now the player to look out for is a boy in the box here, Ibrahim. He's doing the role of running into the box late. So let's see how it played out. As we play it on, Toykan to Barbaros, whips it in. There goes Ibrahim, see his little dart there? So it's not relying on being brilliant in the air. It's more about his movement, this one. Gets there with a volley, deflects into the goal. So early signs are that this is a better way for us to approach things than the way that we previously would, where we're relying on the attributes of a good header of the ball to get us that little advantage. Now you can see that game finished 2-2, so let's go and have a look and see how we've been doing. Right, let's catch up with the Caraboys, eh? So we left you last time after 15 games, didn't we? just in 17th place on the brink of relegation. Now it's been a right battle. We've had to claw and scratch our way to results. We had it on a great run, we went on a bad run. It's a very streaky season. Let's see where we're at. We're sitting in 14th after 33 games. So we're pretty comfy, I'm pretty, pretty happy. If you look at it in a bit more detail, 14th place there, we've only won seven games. It's been a battle, 
But what saved us is we haven't lost that many. We've drew 16 games, which is ginormous. It's the most in the league by a mile, losing 10. So if you look at it, losing 10 out of 33 games, it's not too bad really, is it? Goal scoring has been a bit of a problem. We've only scored 33, but we've only conceded 42, which in relation to everyone below us who've conceded the high 50s, 70s, 60s, it's what's kept us up there. When we left episode two, we just started a mini revival, hadn't we? So we were just drew away to the top of the table team, Sacraspor, and no, my pronunciations are not improving. And we went on a great run after that, we really started to hit, hit the ground running. We got a couple of big wins with three goals scored in each, another draw, another win. We're about eight games undefeated. And then the winter break hit us. So we get to January the 3rd. We'll learn that all the time here. We get to January the 3rd. And we have a three week break. And honest to God, I don't know what they were doing in that three weeks, whether we're hitting the spas or what, having a few nights out. But we came back from the three week break and look at that for a run. It just all went tits up. Big defeat away to Bodrum Spa. Couple more defeats, scratched a couple of nil nils. This was the big worry here, this 5 1 defeat, because the team that hammered us, Parza Spore, we'll just bring it up. Oh, there's the background. They're that small, they don't have a stadium background. They were the bottom club, and they absolutely murdered us 5 1, and they could have been 6 or 7. They had a goal disallowed at the end. So alarm bells were ringing. We had to make a few more tweaks after that, and we've managed to just get us back on track, get back to these. Where we're at, there we are. So since that 5-1 game, we have only lost one. Closed it back down again. nil nils, one nil, scratching it. And at the minute, we're on another five-game undefeated streak. Granted, there's four draws in there, but every result is a bonus at this point. So we've got five games left of the season. Let's get the league table back up. There it is. Where can we finish? We just want to finish as high as possible. We are five points clear at this point of relegation. So... That's the first goal. Do not get relegated and this glorious journeyman save, which I'm loving so much, can continue. So let's play a few games now. We'll come back when we get to the last game of the season and we'll see where we finish. Tactic wise, we've stuck with a 4-4-2. It's done us really well. We have only lost 10 games out of 33. And remember, we are the worst team in this league by a country mile. So the boys have done amazing. The average age of our starting 11 is 20 years old. Up front, we've got the legend that is Bugo with his little flick. He's done okay, six goals, seven assists in his 30 games. It just shows how low scoring we are. Up front is Jessica Ennis Destin. Now this guy, 15 goals in 24 games, 18 years old again. But they've both done great. 15 goals for that big man. Those two have kept us going. So we've kept them the same. We've changed Bugra to a deep line forward because he's got a bit of flair and passing ability. I wanted to use that more than a target man would. So he's playing as a deep line forward. We made some tweaks in the midfield. Barbaros is now a wide midfielder instead of an inverted. We've got a defensive winger on this side because it just makes us a bit more solid. We've switched to a ball winning midfielder because we're getting a bit exposed. We weren't winning the ball back. And our wing backs is now on defense duty. Team instruction wise, but this is the big one, the out of possession. We're dropping it back, we're dropping it back because we can't boss teams with a pressing game. We're dropping back, standard line in defense, lower line of engagement there. A common mistake people will do is they'll still keep a higher line of engagement like that, but the distance between your players then is too big. Too big, and unless you've got players like Perlo all over the place where you can just ping, 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 it's not gonna happen. So we're gonna stick at it lower, keeping our players quite close together, keeping the player in these areas and trying to break into the gaps. So a little update before we get to this last game of the season that I was planning on playing. We're in the bit of the you know what here. We've just lost two games in a row. We played against the team currently lining first and fourth. Lost them both. So now after 35 games, we're still down there in 15th, but the 18th place team are now only two points behind us. So we're in danger now. We've got three games to go. I'd say we need four points to be sure to get out of this. Otherwise, this could be the shortest journeyman ever. All right, crew, mission accomplished, we did it. Secure survival, that's all that was about this season. 
So delighted with that, really happy. We've got one game to go, we'll have a little look, see how the team go. There's a lot of work to do, but we've then got the big decision to make, haven't we? End of the season comes up, we take all the other leagues off view only, back to playable, jobs will come up. We may apply for two or three if they're a higher reputation team, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave these boys. Right, so this is the lineup for the last game of the season. That's the formation I'm going with. I'm just going to keep it as that. You can see I haven't even named this formation. And if you've followed any of my stuff, when I get a bit of a bond with a formation that I like, I tend to name it and save it in the archives. This one has purely been just to get us through the season. Not a lot of love for it. It's just kind of grinded away and got us there. So as we play this game, I've got on key highlights because we're just reflecting on the season as a whole. Uh, it's been a battle. You can see down in the, the bottom corner there, 15th place. If we win this, we're against the 13th place team. We could potentially finish 13th, which would be a hell of a season, really. If you consider we were minus three, currently we would be sat in that 13th place. In the meantime, here's a corner coming in and <laughs> they've gone in front. Do you know, we've hardly conceded a goal from corners this season. I'd be dead proud of them. But there we go. We've conceded a goal. Yusuf with the corner. Oh, keeper. Keeper, keeper, keeper. But yeah, as I was saying, we're, we're online to finish 15th minimum, maximum 13th. We'll need a two goal swing now, though. Decent little season. Half time. And look at our average positions here. That's uh, different. I've got my right back absolutely bombing. Bombing? My left back completely chilling. I'm going to have to have a look at that because he's kind of gone rogue. Now here's Ibrahim Aksu, another 18 year old. Honest to God, we've got so many youth, youth players in this team. It's unbelievable. Ibrahim. Look how tight it is. We're going to have to spread the play after this passage of play. Aksu. They are toiling to try and find a gap here. Aksu again. I'm enjoying the patience, boys. That's a nice little ball. Here's Barbaros, and that's an equaliser. That was quite nice. We've took off hit early crosses to play a bit more patiently. We have eyes on next season, and um, that was quite nice. We held the ball there for what seemed like a bloody eternity. Right, if you look at the match facts, deserve the equaliser. We've dro actually dropped to 16th, which is a bit, bit annoying. If we can somehow manage to get this goal, it will push us up to 14th, maybe 13th. Last passage of play here. They can't steal it. They've literally had one shot in the whole match. This could be the second shot. Here's Sahin. Gets around the back. He just decides to walk right past it, and <laughs> in it goes... So, it looks like we're ending the season on a little bit of a whimper. The ball's coming off. Might even consider a third here. Ooh, just wide. So that looks like to be it. The Carabao boys. Game over. A disappointing last game of the season. All right, crew. There we have it. That's the end of the season. I'm in the middle of my end of season review here. But as you can see there, the board, they've given me a B-, minus, which is pretty much the uh, GCSE I rocked with at school. Delighted that the team staved off relegation. We finished 16th, which isn't too spectacular, is it? Only eight wins, a colossal 17 draws, though. And look at every team below us. 22 defeats, 21 defeats, 28. We only lost 13, which is the form of a mid-table side. So if you had them three points on that we got deducted at the start of the season, we would have finished a respectable 14th. So we're well happy with that. The worst team I've ever managed, don't get me wrong, but we've we managed to pull them up there. Now, the big question is, and I'd like to know... What you think in the comments is there may be the odd job offer or two coming up in the off season so what do you think do we stay for another season with Carabuxpo and hopefully with a little bit more money an extra year with the club we can build towards a top 10 finish or do we stay true to the journeyman roots and hike off off we go to a new country we might not have that option but we might so let me know what you think that's the end of season one, episode three. Three episodes in the one season, like you guys asked for. We're looking forward to the next one. I'm going to go off now, get the pre-season out of the way, see what job offers are coming. If we do get some job offers, keep an eye on the YouTube page because I'll put it on one of those community polls. Let me know what you think. Uh -huh.